Welcome to Code Shake. Loop in programming language is a feature which allows the execution of a set of statements repeatedly based on some condition. One such implementation is a for loop in Java. So let's start by creating a new class. If we want to print hello world five times, we'd require to print hello world five times. Here is where for loop jumps in and makes our task easier. So for loop goes like. So instead of printing the line hello world five times, we just put it in a for loop. A for loop basically consists of four parts. It contains the initialization where we initialize a variable with some initial value. It is optional and we can use a variable which is already initialized. The second part is the condition. The condition is where we provide an expression which will allow to continue execution of the for loop until the condition is deemed false. The third is the increment or the decrement which allows to increment or decrement the value of the variable. And the fourth is set of statements that needs to be executed multiple times. So a for loop provides two things. One is the number of iterations, meaning how many times the loop will run. And secondly, what will be the value of the variable under each iteration. So when the for loop iterates for the first time, the value of i will be 1 and then it will be incremented by 1. So the value of i for the second iteration will become 2 and it will go on up till 5 and once it becomes 6, it will come out of the for loop. So let's print this. We see here hello world has been printed 5 times. Instead of printing hello world, we can print the value of i and check out. We can see here the value of i has been printed from 1 to 5. To print out the number of iterations, we can use a counter, less declare a variable and initialize it with 0. And we'll increment the value of count under each iteration. Lastly, we'll print out the value. So it will be printed as the number of iterations is the value of count. We can see here the number of iterations is 5. So if we change the value from 6 to 10, we can see here the value of i is from 6 to 10, but the number of iterations is the same, which is 5. Second is if we want to print the even numbers from 1 to 20, we'll run the for loop from 1 to 20. And we'll check the value of i. If i mod 2 is equal to 0, it means that i will be divided by 2. And if the remainder is 0, it means that it is divisible by 2 and it is an even number. So if it is divisible by 2, we'll print the value of i. And run this. We can see here all the even numbers from 1 to 20 have been printed. This single equal to denotes that 1 has been assigned to the variable i. And double equal to compares the value of i mod 2 and 0. So if you want to print the odd numbers from 1 to 20, we'll change the condition to i mod 2 is not equal to 0. Means that it is not divisible by 2. So once we run this, we can see the output has been changed and all the odd numbers from 1 to 20 have been printed. So if you want to print all the numbers divisible by 9 from 1 to 100. So all the numbers divisible by 9 from 1 to 100 have been printed. That's all for for loop. If you have liked this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.